why art? It's open. You don't get to buy it. It's free. It's super so I'm currently working on a documentary called Beyond the Beat. And in this documentary, I have several sample tracks that I want to be able to mix into my timeline to be able to make it so that my composer can understand the mood and the temperature of the sequence so that they can better use that edit to uh, accompany their compositions more effectively. But I, I have a traditional and normal way to do this, but with this new update in Premiere Pro, I'm actually able to do this uh, in a far more efficient and better way. So let's get started. So like I said, I'm working on this documentary and I wanna put in some sample music into my sequence so I can better show the composer the kind of mood or style that I'm looking for uh, in that particular sequence. And so there's a couple ways that I would normally do that. Uh, one of which is you see right here, I've got my sample track right here. And, and what I typically do is I'll, you know, I'll highlight this track and I'll hold down my option key and I'll duplicate the track. I'll find a spot that I like, which is kind of like towards the beginning of this and I would just put it to where I think it could sync up nicely. I would go in and I would, you know, cut where I want uh, the music to end. I would delete that, and then I would use my uh, uh, point tool and then do a fade out of that music. That's how I would typically edit music and sample tracks in Premiere Pro. Uh, with this new update, there is an incredible way uh, to do this. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Let me show you the new way. So I've got my song in here. Uh, I've pulled it up, imported it into my project window, and I have cut the certain part of the song that I actually want to use uh, for this timeline. I'm gonna drag it into my timeline. And I've got it in there, but I want to adjust the length of this song. I want it to extend further into this this part of the sequence, and I want it to kind of start right about here. So even though I only have, you know, a couple seconds of this song, I can actually send it into the remix tool in Premiere Pro and be able to extend it. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go into my top right here into my workspaces button and I'm going to go into audio. Now there's two ways to do this. Uh, this is the way that I find most effective. Uh, I'll also show you the other way in a second here. I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna make sure that my music is highlighted. I'm gonna click on my music panel and then from there I'm gonna check duration. It's gonna analyze the clip. Now after it's done analyzing the clip, I can then extend or reduce the length of this song and it'll automatically find points to where it can create a seamless transition from one point of the song to the other. So let's say I want to extend it to where my, my current uh, pointer is. And so all I can do is just extend the duration here, just hold down my mouse and drag it to the right and I can extend this song to that certain point so that you can see here what appears is this little jagged line, and that is where Premiere Pro automatically found a good point to remix the song and to allow it to continue on uh, without you having to duplicate the soundtrack or anything. It's really, really, really simple. So I'll, pl I'll play that back now. 77% of Uganda is under the age of 25, making it the youngest population in the world. But in such a traditional country, Many parents discourage their kids from any forms of self-expression. There's another way for me to do this. So I'm actually gonna go into where it says Ripple Edit Tool. I'm gonna hold down my Option key and I'm gonna keep clicking it until I get to Remix Tool. Once I get to Remix Tool, I can actually drag this song to wherever I want in terms of length you know, if I want it to be all the way over there, and it'll automatically remix the song to make it so it goes to that length perfectly. And that's it. It's so much easier than duplicating the soundtracks and finding that point to where you want to, to remix the song to be able to extend a certain point of that song. 
super easy. I've used this so many times already. And this is something where when Premiere Pro updates, this kind of update gets me really, really excited because it makes my job as an editor so much easier. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below if you have any questions or comments. I'll be happy to answer them and we'll see you guys here real soon.